Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kat and today we're doing a mega haul. Well, ooh. <laughs> so technically this is another episode of the cheap and unique. Um, most expensive thing in here is $15. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and technically six, but two of them are the same. Um, so five different subscriptions to check out, and all $15 or less. They go all the way down to seven bucks. All right, some of them are brand new. This is a brand new box to the channel. And uh, some of them we've had lots of times before. So if you wanna see what I got, see if you got some new exciting ones to check out, then stick around. All right, wait, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, turn on that notification bell, all that good YouTube -y stuff. Actually, even if you're not new, make sure you did all that stuff and uh, we'll check out these boxes. I don't know how to pronounce this. I thought quibble would have an I in it, right? So, ooble? Is it ooble? I don't know. Um, but discover yourself. So this is specifically a sampler box. Um, I'll link any codes and um, links down below that will get you any kind of discounts but i think the first box i paid just under 11 dollars for it's regularly 13 a month so price comparison we're thinking like birch box or ipsy uh, and you answer a ton of questions about your likes and personalities and purchasing history um, so that they can send you samples of products that will go along with your beauty regimen so after I finished my questionnaire, no surprise, it linked me to the cruelty-free and, and vegan um, product samples, the all-natural skincare and beauty. I don't know if there's gonna be any makeup or if it's all skincare, I can't remember exactly. They sent me like a, here's your profile. And I wanna say it said all-natural vegan organic skincare. But let's see what's in the box. Oh, that's awesome. Right off the top, apparently they only do women-owned businesses. So everything in this box is going to be women-owned businesses. Or at least everything in the box they curated for me. So want to discover more cruelty-free, women-powered skincare products? Join us now. And there's a coupon code, so I'll put that down below. It looks like it saves you $3. All right, so not a very big box. Let's see how many things are in here. We got John Masters Organic Rosemary and Arnica Body Milk. Why is a women-owned business called John Masters? Hmm. <laughs> so technically it says women-powered, maybe? that I don't know. Whatever. All right, so it's a little sample of a body wash. We got a tiny little sample of bamboo exfoliating cleanser from C. Chi. We got another tiny little sample of charcoal hibiscus exfoliating mask. Ooh, that sounds really nice. From Apple Rose. We got another little sample. Okay, Eight Saints All In Eye Cream. Um, I like this eye cream very much. I got one of the eight cent sampler boxes and loved it. Um, definitely should check that out. I think that's one of my super old videos if you want to go back and watch that. But uh, yeah, I like Eight Saints. And the Detox Purifying Facial Scrub with Activated Charcoal and Volcanic Ash. Okay, is that it for this box? That is it. So a lot of filler in this box. So we got five sample products for $11. Normal price would be 15 or 13. Um, and I feel like this is a really cheapy sample. So I, I might try another month of this box, see if it gets better. Um, I don't feel like this even is as value packed as like a birch box or an Ipsy, which some months are better than others even on that one um but yeah if you want to check it out that's what it is five little samples eleven dollars i don't think this is a two dollar sample okay moving on <laughs> we saw it we reviewed it there we go <laughs> um this is history by mail i had to open it to figure out what they were because i got two so i had 
open I open this every month I love this I found it back before Christmas when I was looking for subscription subscription recommendations for the holidays history by mail seven dollars that's shipping and everything um, and once a month you get these really awesome historical letters and they come with reference material um, all about what was going on at the time and um, the history behind these letters or uh, so there was confusion because I got one letter from the what turned out to be the transfer of power series um, and then I got the second letter in the series but of a different series because somehow we jumped to the World War II somehow they mixed up my account and they sent me the wrong letter the next month um, so I emailed them I was like I just wanted to <laughs> I don't care which one I'm in. I either want the I either need the first one from World War II or the next one from President or Transfer of Power. So, let's see what I got. They actually sent me two letters. So, I'm guessing we decided to go with the World War II series. Let's see. So, this is So this is yep. This is the first document in the um first of four documents in the World War II series. So last month, what I got was the actually the second document in the series, but they don't, you don't have to read one in order to follow along with the next one. They're just four independent packages. Um, so the first one was, um, I think it was Roosevelt or was it Eisenhower? It was Eisenhower. Um, it was one of his D-Day speeches to the troops and it had some hand-drawn art and stuff in it. Um, so this one is from General MacArthur, no, two. This one's to General MacArthur from Cushing. Um, all right, apparently it's about prisoner negotiation. This one might not be the best one to review with your kids. So I usually recommend um, this, especially if you're doing homeschooling because it's a great little history lesson. Uh, so, I mean, history is history, you can't, scrub out the unpleasant parts, but this is about tr prisoners being tortured and killed and about how they negotiated for safe passage. Uh, so, uh, the World War II series might be a little bloody for your kids depending on how old they are. Just an FYI on that one, always read the letters before you pass them on to your kids. The uh, first one we got with the, the hand-drawn art was a uh, battle dress preparation with like grenades and landmines and stuff. So it, be prepared for an awkward conversation if your kids are little and you're trying to explain World War II to them, just an FYI. But this one, so then it comes with, and this is what I appreciate, it comes with all the history behind it. Because if I just read this letter, I'd be like, okay, thanks. Um, but it talks about the Pacific Theater, the Mariana Islands. Um, apparently this letter is specifically about the Z plan, which I don't even know what that is. I look forward to reading it and finding out. Yeah, all the rest of it about something called the Z plan. So I will learn more about that shortly. I'm not gonna read the letter to you. If you wanna find out what's in the letter, you will have to order the subscription yourself. There is a link down below if you wanna use my link to follow over. It is called History by Mail. All right, so this should be number three in the series because we already got two. Let's see. Yes, this is the third document in the World War II series. This one is Operation Cornflakes. <laughs> Okay, and it's about infiltrating the German Postal Service. So apparently that's what Operation Cornflake was about. I will find out more once I read all about it and I read my history behind the history letter that comes with it. Um, I definitely look forward to that. Again, I'm not gonna show you what it is. If you wanna find out, you gotta order the subscription. And I got a little spoiler from History by Mail. I was communicating back and forth with them about my mix up and they told me there is going to be a new subscription coming out. So, spoiler alert, there is going to be a subscription, but instead of it being historical letters, it's gonna be historical and political cartoons. <laughs> so, every month they'll feature a political cartoon of some sort, and then they'll have the history. You'll still get your history behind it letter, but instead of it being a 
whatever, a letter from a president or a letter from a celebrity, it will be all political and historical cartoons. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be an amazing Father's Day gift if you are looking for something for Father's Day. Um, and they did say the plan is to have it out in time to order it for Father's Day. I am fingers crossed on that because it is already the second week in May and I have not seen it on their website yet. So keep an eye out for that. Um, even if it comes out right before Father's Day, you can always just print out the um, welcome letter and give them that. <laughs> but I am very excited. I will for sure have that one as well when it comes out. But that is my two letters this month from History by Mail. I just love, love, love that subscription. All right, moving on. So I love jewelry. It's not jewelry. They have a few different subscriptions. They do have one that's jewelry. Mind you, it is all costume jewelry. They have one that's handbags, which is super cute. And you can add on the mini me um, if you have a daughter, like a young one, and you can get a matching miniature purse for her, which is super cute. Um, this is the swag bag. So it comes with a monogrammed item. I think it's always clothing so far. What I've seen is clothing. The first one was like a little over wrap, like a little sweater. Let's see what we got this month. Uh, so technically $11.95, but they charge you $5 in shipping. I think I have a link down below. I can't remember if you need a code as well. I think you can get the first one for $5 off. So it's just $11.95 to check out. Um, and then if you continue on with it, it would be $16.95 a month. I will tell you the first bag takes a little while because they do have to monogram your personal products. All right, ooh, I like the colors. Let's see what I got. Um, I got a t-shirt. And there's my little monogram way down there in the bottom. Okay, so not anything fancy this month. And it's a really big, really big t-shirt. Um, I'm going to assume this is meant to be like a beach cover up and that's why it's gigantic. <laughs> Because otherwise you could put two, literally put two of me in here. Because the shoulders are way over here. <laughs> Alright, um, so that's called the swag bag. I can't remember what the purse one is. That one, it's not much more. I think it is $21. Um, so it's about double. But it's a really cute handbag every month. Uh, this month was actually technically more like a cooler but anyway, check out their site. I love jewelry. I will put the link down below. All right, moving along. Do you recognize this guy? It's the Walmart Beauty Box. So the Walmart Beauty Box technically used to be free, but it was free plus they charged you $5 to ship it. So not really free, it was five bucks. They upped the price, but they only upped it to $6.98. Now it's free shipping. So really they only upped it two bucks. All right, so let's see if we got $2 worth of stuff added to our package. All right, we got a nice bottle of Humphreys Witch Hazel alcohol-free toner. All right. We got from, I don't know how to say that. I used to say scrunchy, but then I realized it was not scrunchy. It was, is it scunch, scunchy? I don't know how to say that, but nice little hair clips. Oh, I guess this is some of the products that could have been in your box. We got HelloFresh. We've gotten a whole bunch of Hello products from them. This is the Hello Natural Whitening Toothpaste. I think I've got um, the charcoal toothpaste and the charcoal toothbrushes from them before. Oh, we got nice and dashing Diva nail. I got stickers on right now, but I will probably switch to these. These are cute. I like them. We got... Tanologist, tiny little drop. How much do they think we can tan with this? It's literally like one little drop right here. I guess it's just a sample to see if it irritates your skin or to see what the, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> and oh, some Olay Ultra Rich Hydrating Moisturizer. Nice little sample. Great for travel, right? Um, okay, nice. I certainly don't need any more moisturizers. I have a mountain because I get so much skincare in all my beauty boxes. But we got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five products. All right, for seven bucks, we'll just say seven bucks. I wanna say these 
are like eight or nine dollars by themselves. I could be wrong. Um, they might be a little cheaper than that, but they're definitely worth the price of the box and I will use these. So everything else is a bonus. These are really nice too. I like the pattern on these. Um, and the toners, I'll use that. I'll, actually, I'll use everything. So that is what I really love about the Walmart boxes. Nothing ever goes to waste from the Walmart boxes. I use everything in it all the time. Regularly, when I'm done filming, my husband will be like, I'll take that. I'll take that. Like, even he uses the products in there. Uh, so can't go wrong with the Walmart beauty box. Yes, it is technically $2 more expensive now. Um, they make it sound like it was a huge jump from free to $7, but you don't pay the $5 in shipping anymore. So it's really only $2 more. Um, I'm looking forward to checking out the next box. You can set it up to auto order. Um, and it comes out quarterly, I believe. But then they also have specials, um, special curated boxes, holiday boxes, things like that, that they'll send you notices on from time to time. They do not auto ship and charge you for those though. You have to go on and actually order those. Um, all right, let me know what you think, or if you get the Walmart Beauty Box. The last box, you've probably seen this one before. This is single swag. So I know there was some confusion with the coupon codes and stuff last month. The way single swag works, is they actually have two subscriptions. They don't really go out of their way to advertise the cheaper one. You will almost always see the um, advertisement for the $40 box, but it turns out they have a petite box, which comes with, I think, four to five products. Might even be four to six, I can't remember. We'll find out in a minute. But um, the petite box, normally priced at $25, but you can use the um, coupon code, which there's always 40% off coupon codes. I will link a couple of them down below. Use one until you get one that works. Um, that gets you this box for $15. And if you go on and order a six month or a year or whatever, a pre-order, um, you can use that, apply that code to the whole purchase. So you can get six months of single swag petite for $15 a month. Definitely worth it. Uh, so you'll be seeing this box for a little while. Here's our little card, and it has one, two, three, four, five products. Here's our snack. One of the products is always a snack. This one is gourmet popcorn. All right, don't know what makes it gourmet, but gourmet popcorn. And $4, the snacks are always like four or five dollars. Then we have the rest of the box. We got, okay, from Spun Gel Hand Defense. It's a hand washing buffer. I thought they only made shower soap, so apparently not. I will use, ooh, and it's thyme and tea tree oil. That sounds really nice. Yes, it smells great, okay. Up next we have Glow on Fifth Beauty Simply Glowing Vitamin C Serum. So just a plain vitamin C serum. Very nice. Oh, let me see what they price these at. $32. I know those vitamin C serums can be expensive. And this was $14, which is probably the price of those sponge gel. Those things are expensive for some reason. And then last is always the ridiculously overpriced jewelry. This month it is from Violet Harper. Nothing personal, Violet. It, all of their jewelry is ridiculously overpriced. We got some 90 style gold chain, <laughs> um, valued at $58. Um, and then the last thing in here is the satin eye mask. So it, feel, it feels like one of those sleep masks. Let's see, from Ivy Olivia, soothe the delicate skin around your eyes with this feathery soft satin sleep mask <laughs> yeah so it's just one of the sleep ones um 28 dollars mm. sure okay <laughs> anyway so for 15 bucks that's what i pay for it we got a total retail value of 136 that does include the ridiculously overpriced jewelry but is it 15 dollars worth of stuff i feel like for sure Vitamin C serum, really nice. Would I go out and pay 32 bucks for a vitamin C serum? Probably not. But in a $15 box, along with the sponge gel and the face mask and some fun popcorn, I'm definitely happy for 15 bucks. That is a steal. All right, that is all I have. Let me know what you think of these cheap and unique boxes. 
and um, yeah, there'll be more. I know there's, so we don't have any air fresheners um, because there's been a hold up. I now have two subscriptions on my channel that are air fresheners and neither one of them are here yet. <laughs> air Flick is also missing. I'm not sure what's going on with the shipping, um, but I have several of the items I normally cover in my cheap and unique that are not here yet. So I suspect there'll be a cheap and unique number two coming out sometime this month as well. All right. I will see you guys soon. Bye.